All right, guys, I'm Colin. I'm back with another toy video today. I've got McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Batman and Hazmat suit. I got them for ten bucks. Normally, he's twenty dollars forty cent, forty eight cents. And I'm actually kind of looking forward to trying this guy out. It's, he's got his nice window box going on on the back. We've got some cool artwork on like a poster style thing. That is a picture of the actual toy. We got some cross cells. We've got uh, King Shazam, the Demon, Bat Cycle. I don't think that comes with the figure. I'd be surprised if it did. Doctor Fate and a different kind of Wonder Woman from a different art style. But uh, you can see Batman inside there. It's pretty much a black Batman suit, but he's got like a Biohazard logo going on, and he's got like some extra gas tubes with like a face mask and some tubes into his waist and. I can't see it, but I'm pretty sure there's some type of tank on the back of his helmet. So let's go ahead and get him out of the box. So here we have Batman has suit out of the packaging. And first, let's take a quick look at his card. Very nice picture of the toy there on the back. Um, Batman hazmat suit, Justice League, the Amazo virus. Um, okay. After witnessing his parents' deaths at a young age, Bruce Wayne devoted his life to becoming the world's greatest weapon against crime, Batman. To become the ultimate vigilante, the Dark Knight disciplined his mind and body to reach the pinnacle of mental and physical superiority. Batman has a plan for every occasion as well as high-tech weapons, gadgets, and vehicles to assist him in his pursuit of justice. Justice! Um, one such piece of equipment is the high-tech equip- One such piece of high-tech equipment- is his hazard bat suit built to protect him from a synthetic plague created by Lex Luthor and known as the Amazo virus. If exposed to the virus, metahuman powers will disappear while normal humans will transform into mutant metahumans. But not if Batman can stop it. So wait, if he's a meta if, he, if if Batman is a normal human, then wouldn't he want to become a metahuman and get some powers? Wouldn't that be helpful? I don't know, but I'll be sticking the card away with my other Marvel DC uh, McFarlane cards. Let's take a look at... No, that's not yours. Do not chew up my instructions, you goober. What? 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 Um, it's a very nice representation of Batman. It really is just Batman, but he took off the cloth, added some more knee pads, and he's got... Uh, a, a, an air tank with a face mask and like he's got I like how he's got the um the 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 the, the um control panel underneath the glass here excuse you excuse you um yeah and then on the back here his backpack is really nice and detailed just basically an air tank he's got some cool look he brought like little sample containers here on the side here he's got the bat the, the, the bat belt with all his uh, tools and stuff. And he's got his face plate here covering his whole face. There is the display stand. It's just a little black disc. Can he stand without it? Yes. Yes, he can. Let's go ahead and bring over my film noir Spider-Man. Let's bring up in here Scourge. We've got Hubcap. And we've got Soda Can. So yeah, these um these McFarland DCs are in the seven inch scale. So that explains why he is so much more taller. But that's not necessarily a bad thing. <laughs> Let's take a closer look at his face sculpt right there. And it's really nice how they molded his face in there. And then put a faceplate over it. I do like this weird thing they did with his chest where, like, the plastic goes into his chest a bit. Like, it's a heavier chest plate. And, like, they even molded it as a chest plate. And, like, it's, like, it's, 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 I don't know, there's, like, this weird depth going on to it. It's cool. So, let's go ahead and bring back in Hubcap and Scourge in their vehicle modes. Okay. Open up Scourge's feet here and stand him up. <clears throat> so articulation on him. He's got some odd articulation. Let me go ahead and start from the feet up though, okay? So he's got the, the, the swivel and the ankle swivel. 
He's got really nice double jointed knees. He's got the um, universal joints up in here covered by soft plastic, soft rubber plastic for the clothing and stuff. Then his wrists are swivels with the hinge. You got the wrist swivel with the hinge. He's got a very nice double jointed elbow. Now what's odd here is that instead of the shoulder blade, shoulder armor being attached to the top of the shoulder or even the uh, shoulder edge, it's actually connected to the uh, lower arm. So it rotates around like that. That's really cool. He's got this really complicated um, swivel with hinge and then there's another cup on the inside there to give him some like bit more range of movement but like his upper arm muscle gets in the way and he can't actually quite reach over to manipulate his control panel over here it's just a little bit out of reach and that kind of that kind of sucks that kind of sucks uh, his head is on a nice, is that a single ball joint? No, there's some type of stem and ball thing going on inside there. And it's odd that his backpack is, his air tank is a little loose, but that's probably to help that you don't stress these hoses and stuff. Because, like, he's got plenty of length on each side of the head for the hoses that he's not going to stretch them out and rip them apart, which is very nice. Did I mention he had toe articulation? He has toe articulation. He has that. I'm glad I picked him up for 10 bucks, but like if you're a serious Batman fan, like you should have already gotten this guy for 20 bucks. It's McFarlane does really good figures. It's just it's DC and I'm not that interested in DC. This is it's a good figure. I'm glad I got it. If you want if you like Batman, you should go out and pick one up for 20 bucks. But if you want just a dude in tech environment suit, like, and I can ignore the bat symbol. Maybe I can just, like, put some cloth over it to, you know, now he's, like, a, a stealth assassin dude or something. I don't know. There's options are optional. I'm Colin. This has been, been uh, McFarlane Toys DC Universe uh, Batman in hazmat suit. You know, he, he would probably want to use a suit against. He'd probably want to use it against Poison Ivy. That'd be a way to go with that. Um, Yeah, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.